right, so in downtown Winter Haven, a part of this area you're going to see is considered um, a historical landmark with some of the older buildings. I'm not exactly sure which section is part of that, but um, I'm eventually going to film a uh, separate video to show that when I'm exactly sure which streets was designated. There's, there's no historical marker for it, at least not one that I found. But when I do, I'll um, I'll film it again. That's the library for Winter Haven. See a lot of uh, medical places around here, uh, office buildings. Like there's the big Verizon building over there. Sections down there. Where we're going to be driving now are, um, I believe, the other one that's, that's part of that historical uh, district. Yeah, this is definitely part of that historical district I was telling you about. I'm sure there's a marker or something around here saying it, but. It's probably one of those small ones because I haven't been able to find it yet. But never fear, I'll come through here and film one just for that one, I'm sure, with streets and everything. I got knifed by um, a gang down there once, several, some years ago. Around here somewhere is just the historical um, Ritz Theater, I think it's called. The Ritz. I think so. There's a billiard hall, you don't see those anymore. Nice little park over there. A nice fountain uh, behind us now, you can't see it. Oh yeah, Ritz Theater, there it is. They have sometimes plays and um, musical performing. I almost went there oh, about a year ago. Mo Bandy was performing, country music singer. Uh, that nice little restaurant, there's a Thai place, sushi. That Ritz Theater I was telling you about. Baptist Church. There's actually a lot of churches around here. There's um, one of the post offices in Winter Haven. There's at least three or four that I know of.
there's that post office more. I've been there a few times. See that guy that's drove by? Stink everybody. You'll never see him again. is um, Winter Haven Senior High School. And there's their field where they have um, track and 
football and stuff. A lot of red lights today. So all the wildlife. This neighborhood might be part of Pugsville. I'm not sure. If you look at my older videos, you know what I'm talking about. Well, not too old. A few weeks ago. The problem is when they have whole um, neighborhoods or districts declared historical, they don't really give you exactly what part is what, so. There's like three or four of those kind of those um, historical neighborhood districts in Winter Haven. I'm not 100% sure where it begins, where it ends. I have an idea. Church. Ah, we can only turn right here. McDonald's, Denny's, DP gas station, A whole bunch of shops and uh, well, restaurants, Publix, TJ Maxx. There's Chili's. Checkers um, restaurant up ahead. A lot of little stores, restaurants mainly, but some some other kinds of stores.
the Sun Trust Bank, Pet Supermarket, Dairy Queen. We're gonna be coming up on. Uh, we're gonna be coming up on a Walmart. I think the one Pugsville sign was up next to it. On the left, still, so we're gonna be seeing um, Chain of Lakes Park. It used to be a spring train home for the Cleveland Indians until they left 2008. Before them was um, Boston Red Sox. They had the famous orange dome that was built in front of it. Unfortunately, they knocked it down, placed a whole bunch of restaurants there. But uh, you'll see it in a minute, we're almost there. Bay Lakes Park is back there, as I was telling you about. The Orange Dome used to be where those couple restaurants were located at. It was quite a sight, that building. Very, um, very neat looking. I kept meaning to take a picture, but I just never got down here in time for the knock it down, but you can find a picture online. Well, I think it's enough to show you a little piece of Winter Haven. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, talk to you again soon. Now I'm going to stop and get a donut. A Dunkin' Donuts. Because me like Homer Simpson. Me like donuts. And here I'm going to go. So, talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Ooh, donuts.